Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Geek Power Toy Reviews, and on today's episode, we will be reviewing the Lego Star Wars set 75298 Atat vs. Tonton Micro Fighters from Series 8 of Lego Star Wars Micro Fighters Sub for You. So, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. First, starting off with the packaging, on the front of the box we have the Lego logo, Star Wars logo, an indication that the set is for six years and up, the set number 75298, and the name of the set, Atat vs. Tonton Microfighter. Down the bottom we have the Series 8 classification for the Microfighter sub-theme, we have some more of that white brickwork along the bottom of the packaging with the Disney logo and then showing you the lineup of the two minifigures included in this set. They are Luke Skywalker in his Rebel Hoth Trooper uniform and the Atat driver in his Imperial uniform. On the front of the packaging we see Luke Skywalker on the Tauntaun firing a stud shooter and holding his lightsaber. And on the other side, we see the Atat driver sat in the Atat micro fighter, as he too is also firing off another stud shooter. On the top of the packaging, we see the Lego logo, the set number, Disney logo, a warning about flying objects, and a one-to-one -one scale image of the Luke Skywalker minifigure included in the set. On the back of the packaging, we see yet another image, but this time of the two minifigures out of their respective micro fighters. In the top left-hand corner, we see the Lego logo, Star Wars logo, and set number. And down the bottom, we see a cross cell of the two micro fighter sets included in this wave and finally an advertisement to build together. And apart from that we've got the underside of the packaging, an advertisement for the Lego Life app and just some more multilingual languages. But with that being everything with the packaging, let's move on to the set itself. And here's the set out of the packaging. If you saw our previous video, you would have seen me build the set on camera in real time. But let's start off with the minifigures and the accessories that come with them. Our first minifigure of the set is the Hoth Rebel Trooper Luke Skywalker minifigure. This is probably one of the most highly detailed Hoth Rebel Trooper Luke Skywalkers we've had in a long time. As you can see, the basic accessory that he comes with is a stud shooter and simply you press down on the gray piece here to trigger the firing feature of the stud like so and with that removed we can now get a better image of all the fine details included with this minifigure from the stitching designs on the torso to the bright silver metal pieces from the badges down to the objects on his belt we even got a painted holster. And then when we look at the hit piece, we've got two lines to signify texture. And then into the legs, we've got wrinkling of the fabric, the garter of the holster, and then more cross-stitching down the legs 
to show the fabric stitching. And then we've got the Rebel Trooper helmet piece done in a dark tan colour with the white goggles on the top. And the good thing about these goggles is you can remove them and then put them back on the minifigure like so. And now you get an even better looking Hoth Rebel Trooper or Luke Skywalker in this case. The minifigure also has a little bit of white paint at the top to show you his undershirt. It comes with white Lego arms with no side arm printing and light bluish grey hands to signify the gloves. If we remove the headpiece, we see that it's primarily print molded in white and then it's got the print on the front to signify that Luke is wearing a snood to keep his face or to keep his head warm in the cold hoth temperatures. Now this expression on Luke's face is very stern, very concentrated, but then when we look at the back of the head, we've got a second print, he's almost smiling. It's kind of more of a grimace, I'd say, but it's a lot more positive than the stern expression we see on the front. And if we turn that around and then we pop the goggles, well, we pop the headpiece back on the head with the minifigure, that's what it looks like. Not too much different. But then if we remove the goggles and put them back on the top and then put the headpiece back on, it frames it up quite nicely. I do however prefer the original face print though. And due to the headpiece, and look at all that moulded detail, all the straps, all the moulded details of the headpiece really come through nicely in this dark tan colour. Due to the headpiece, we can see a bit of the back head printing underneath. But as we continue down the torso, there's some black lines to signify the popped collar sorry, the folded down collar. We've got more of that cross hatching detail to symbolize the stitching on the waistcoat. And then we've got a continuation of the belt with two pouches on the back. There's no printing on the back of the hip piece and no printing on the back of the legs. There's also no side leg printing. And the legs are primarily molded in light bluish grey. Now this minifigure of Luke Skywalker is packed with accessories, not just the stud shooter that I previously showed you, but he also comes with his signature blue lightsaber that we still see him using in Empire Strikes Back. Now, we've got that nice bright silver on the lightsaber hilt piece. And then, I did say in my build of this set in the previous episode, but this is my first time getting to experience one of the frosted lightsaber blades in person. And i got to say, I absolutely love it. Comparing it to one of the previous lightsaber blades where we got the transparent plastic, this one really feels far more accurate and far more faithful to the lightsaber blades that we saw for the good guys in the original trilogy. And then when we pop that into Luke's right hand, like it's displayed on the box, it's really nice to see all that come together. You can get some side blocking positions, some back blocking positions and then if you just rotate the arm down you can get some 
straightforward attack positions. And that's not it. The other accessory that we get with the Luke Skywalker minifigure is a pair of white binoculars. The ones you see here. A piece that many LEGO Star Wars collectors will be familiar with. But seeing it in white is always a great thing to see. And then all we have to do is pop it in his left hand. If you'll let me. There we go. And now if we can hold it up. We can just about get it to look like he's looking through it. But I'll remove all those accessories and then I'll show you where else we can put them on the set later on. So the only other minifigure included in the set is the Atat driver. And with every instalment of this minifigure, LEGO really does get closer and closer to perfecting their design. The helmet piece is primarily molded in light bluish grey plastic with tons of printed detail, not to mention gorgeous molded details. The molded details include the three buttons on the side of the head, the numerous curves and bumps and fins along the front, back and side. The emphasis on the goggles and then there you see the back of the helmet raises up just slightly. The painted details include the two imperial logos on the top, the black stripe, the two black holes for the eyes a strip underneath to accentuate that goggle detailing, the vents on the side, the breathing apparatus, and then the vents across the bridge of the nose. We even have tiny little details, little focus. There we go, just in the corner of the eye most likely more vent holes and then when I remove that helmet we see a very familiar head scan it's not the angry clone that we're used to seeing with clone troopers and stormtroopers and all of that but it's one that's been used in the DC line the Marvel line a very expendable head print there and then when we look at the rest of the minifigure it's primarily molded in a light bluish grey plastic for the torso with lots of painted detail for the chest armour the console on the front of the chest for the breathing apparatus and then multiple straps that run through the torso into the hips into the legs and then all the other details are to signify wrinkles in the undershirt the arms are molded in a sand blue color plastic with no side arm printing and then the hands are moulded in a light bluish grey plastic. The hips are also moulded in sand blue along with the legs. We even have some detailing displaying the pouches on the front of the legs. There's no side leg printing. And then when we move to the back of the minifigure, 
we see a continuation of the chest armor now on the back. We have an indication of the backpack piece. A continuation of the strap going down the back. And some wrinkles showing the wearing of the undershirt. There's no printing on the back of the hip piece or the back of the legs. And then to round off the ATAT driver, his accessories are also a stud shooter. The same colour, the same design as Luke's with a red stud and then you just press down on the grey trigger and it fires off the red stud. The only other accessory included with the ATAT driver is his own pair of binoculars, this time moulded in dark bluish grey plastic. And then just like with the Luke, you can attach it to his left hand and you can't really get a convincing position but of it looking like he's looking through it but that's the best we can do. <laughs> now that we've reviewed both minifigures included in the set let's move on to the main micro fighters and see how good they really are. First starting off with Luke Skywalker's Tauntaun I love all the sculpted details using regular Lego bricks to depict the fur of the Tauntaun in light bluish grey. I like how we're still using those same horn pieces that we got from that large moulded Tauntaun piece. Even on the Micro Fighter, we've got those big black circular type one by one studded tiles with a white dot in the middle kind of off-centered to depict the eyes. There's no opening jaw feature. I would have liked to have that so then maybe in a play situation you could have your minifigure feeding the Tauntaun at some point. But we've also got that same rubbery uh, rope piece I guess, sorry the reins that the rider would use to help direct the Tauntaun when riding them. Down here we've got these little modified one by one rounded plates with the bar section attached to the main part of the build to work as the hands. You can't really hold anything in the hands like you could with the original, but they really do help add a bit of extra animation to the creature. As we continue down, these brown pieces here are made to signify the saddle on the Tauntaun for your rider to sit on. And then we even have the little uh, backpack piece I guess you could say. There's two studs in the center utilizing a 1x3 Lego plate in regular reddish brown. It has two open studs in the center as a jumper so you can comfortably sit your Lego minifigure. There is a vertical peg here for an accessory and then on the other side a horizontal peg so that you can hold two of the three accessories that come with your Luke Skywalker minifigure. Before we get to the feet we have a ball joint just here so that we can articulate the Tauntaun's tail and that's really fun getting to twist that about and give the Tauntaun different expressions really. 
and then down at the feet it's all brick built there's no pre-molded fabricated details we've got the light tan one by one cheese slopes to depict the toes or claws of the tom-tom and then on the underside we've got that nice bit of white here to depict the thick fur underbelly of the tom-tom and overall i think the build of the tom-tom is on par with the pre-molded piece that we got quite a few years ago and if you missed out on that original molded tauntaun this is a great substitute i mean i could easily see people you know due to the fact that there aren't too many specialized pieces building multiples of these you could even replace the reddish brown pieces and the tan piece on the back and creates you could even leave out the rain piece and then that way you'd have your own natural tom tom that could run about half uh without a pilot on their back you know a rider on their back but because this is a empire strikes back micro fighter we can put our minifigure on the back here. So if I grab my Luke Skywalker that I showed you earlier, all you have to do is bend the legs 90 degrees, maybe lift the blaster up a little bit and the hand as we get in situated. And yet all you do is you sit the back half of the legs on the two studs and then hinge that back down to make it look a bit more natural maybe turn it to the side so you're not shooting the tauntaun and then oh. and then you can connect the hand to the rein on one side for better control and then lastly if you take the final two accessories that being the lightsaber you can attach that to the horizontal clip like so i mean you might even though the box tells you to leave the lightsaber blade on i'd suggest removing it because you wouldn't want your tom-tom to accidentally get hit by a lightsaber blade and then on the other side the other peg the vertical one you can connect your binocular piece sorry the white binocular piece on the side like that and now your Luke Skywalker minifigure, his accessories and his tauntaun are fully geared up to travel across the Hoth dunes. Now that we've fully reviewed both the Luke Skywalker and the tauntaun, we can now move on to the Atat and its driver. Taking a closer look at the Atat Walker, we can see all the implied details on this smaller scale Atat. The front of the head has a printed 1x2 cheese slope in light bluish grey, showing you the front windshield piece. Then on either side, we have the two side head cannons and then underneath we have the two dual chin cannons and if you want to articulate the headpiece of the atat there's a nice ball and socket joint just down in the center and then that allows you to turn the head to its left 
to its right, straight up like so, and then straight down like so. It's basically looking at the ground here. And then other features of the ATAP Micro Fighter include the control panel using a printed dark bluish gray 1x2 cheese slope. You've got the little section down in there to put the legs either side when sitting your ATAP driver. You've got a grill piece just down there and then the light bluish grey ingot piece to fully round out those cockpit details. Then we have a bunch of sloped 1x2 bricks and plates to accentuate the general idea of the ATAT's design. And then when we go down to the legs they're somewhat fully articulated. Uh, each leg has one point of articulation that allows the leg to kick forward that far and back that far. Then the feet give you full 180 degrees of rotation like so. And then lastly to show you how to sit your ATAT driver into the micro fighter. I'll just grab the minifigure. And all you have to do is, if we raise up the glass like we did with Luke Skywalker and the other hand, and turn the legs to 90 degrees, we'll pop him in here like so, with his legs going either side of that black piece. We'll hinge him back a little bit because he sat forward a bit too much. There we go. And then we can hinge the arms back down for a more natural look. And there you have it. There is your ATAT driver in his ATAT Micro Fighter. Now, unlike with the Tonton, there's no way of really storing the binoculars so you can always just pop them back in the hand of the ATAT driver when he's sat in there and it works out quite well. So overall this was a really fun set to review for you guys. I'm not you usually the biggest fan of Lego Star Wars micro fighters, but I think this one really adds something different. Even though in the movie we never see the Tonton interact with the Atat, they never share the same scene together. I think it's a great way of giving us a now brick built tauntaun which can easily replace your molded tauntaun if you've either still got it don't have it or didn't get a chance to buy one at the time um, and those little details you can change to make it into a natural tauntaun i think are just great and then the minifigure that's included with both Micro Fighter is great to add to any display. I love the improvements to the Luke Skywalker minifigure. Just a simple adding of that snood detailing around the face really does the figure justice. I think the only thing that they could improve on now with the Rebel Trooper Luke Skywalker is giving him dual molded legs to signify the boots that he wears on Hoth. Um, and then with the ATAT driver, all the details are so crisp, so beautiful. Um, the only other thing I can think of them doing is giving the helmet piece a dual molded design. 
uh, just to really help crispen up those finer details. The only problem I have with the ATAT microfighter is that there was no storage solution for the binoculars for the ATAT driver. The Luke Skywalker has, as you previously saw, a place to hold both accessories when not in use, whether that be the binoculars or the lightsaber. And yeah, I did take the blade off, but that's okay. And then for the play feature, having him hold the stud shooting blaster, I mean, it really makes the Tonton look even better and gives it even more positives when it can fully accommodate all the accessories. And then when you compare that to the Atta, don't get me wrong, I love all the articulation and the fact that, I know I didn't go over it originally, but you can rotate the guns on the side. And even though they don't do it in the movie, but you can rotate the chin cannons. And there's so many great printed details as well. I just think giving us that extra bit of accessory storage really would have been the cherry on top, really. Um, but with all that being said, I do really like this set. I would really recommend it. And if you've enjoyed the video, please like the video. Leave a comment of your favourite part. If you're a new viewer, please feel free to subscribe. If you're a previous subscriber, welcome back. And until next time, I hope you have a geek time, and I'll see you soon.